Yo, 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 yo. What up, what up, what up? Let me turn the camera this way. Yeah, now you can see it. So, look at the skies. Let me step out a little bit so you can really see. So look, I'm gonna make this video. Check it out on uh, check it out on YouTube if it when I post it on Facebook. Check it out on YouTube. No, I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna stand right here. I'm gonna stand right here and make it. So now, this, uh, one of one of my mentors that I listen to by the name of Ralph Smart made a video. And in this video, he talked about a poem that was been, that, that that had been written by, you know, another one of his listeners. Uh, I don't remember the poem verbatim, but I remember bits and pieces of it. I'm gonna go back and check it out. So in the poem, they were speaking about how our kisses and our hugs have become diseases. How the cities have shut down from the, the, you know, you can't show off the weird looks at restaurants because of your skin color. Racism has become to a halt. Uh, Hollywood is shut down. There is no models and movie stars no more. There is no famous basketball players. It's funny how in an instant all that can stop. And now you have to sit and admire and enjoy, figure out ways to enjoy, if you haven't already been doing it, the same people that you should have been, that we all should have been enjoying anyway. I know time it's money, so we have to go and spend time to get money. Most of us, except for if you were born with it, then you know there's a difference. It's a different type of upbringing when you when when your family have money and you're born with money. But look at how the planet is right now. Look at the feeling you get when one of the most non looked upon things on the planet has become one of the most important and that's toilet tissue something you wipe your behind with and flush down the toilet is the number one top seller right now feel me feel where I'm going with this A lot of us, there's no big eyes and little U's in the conversation. Mean I'm not me, meaning I'm not pointing the finger at anybody, but that tells me that a lot of us was living a real shitty life. And now toilet paper is the number one seller. The journey that I've been on for the last seven years has been a journey of learning experience. A bunch of experiences and 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 it's been just a change change in mind change in heart learning how to live from the heart space learning how to defuse the carnal state of mind and uh, just focus on what makes me happy so that I can share happiness with other individuals
There's nothing wrong with wanting to get to yourself, be by yourself. You need that kind of time. You need that quality time with you and the creator. There is a creator that created you. And just imagine being in touch and having a personal relationship with, with the God that has created heaven and earth. Everything is everything is still. People are only moving when they have to. People are not meeting each other. Our mouths are covered. We have to stay a certain distance from each other. All the togetherness that we should have been indulging in has become the opposite reality. So hopefully we learn. I've learned a lot from it. I can't point the finger to anybody else, but I've learned a lot from it. I've learned a lot from it. I've learned a lot from this, and I'm satisfied with the page, with the energy frequency that I've been on lately. It just gets better and better. But this has been a learning experience. I pray for the teachers, the homeless people, the pregnant women who have to have babies up under this kind of scrutiny right now that's going on, afraid to go in the hospital. Because, you know, can you imagine being pregnant right now, being six, seven, eight months pregnant, nine months pregnant, or even in the hospital having trying to have a baby at this time? Just that alone is a message. Trying to have a baby at a time like this. So... Pay attention. God bless.